it's the, it's this nuance that I was looking for. I most certainly was not looking for black and white answers. So I very much appreciate this level of detail. Commodore Malankar, you know, you've been in the cockpit, you've fired missiles during test flights. You know, I've seen famous pictures of you in a Harrier as well. You know, one of the pictures making the headlines, images doing the headlines right now, is this video that we have on our screen of an LCA firing, uh, you know, conducting the first test firing of an Astra, uh, you know, an indigenous air-to-air -air missile, a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. As someone who's, you know, who, who is a test pilot, who has, uh, you know, tested aircraft while firing missiles, how important is this in the larger scheme of things? Sir? India is constantly looking at, uh, you know, self-reliance in many different spheres. What did you think of this video? What do you think are the implications, sir? So the uh, the importance of uh, images like this is uh, because it finally puts together in uh, in the correct perspective what exactly everybody has been talking about. Mm. Otherwise, uh, one tends to hear only uh, uh, you know text uh, as in people's opinions, uh, and largely nobody wants to hear the good news. Uh, everybody uh, you know therefore ends up focusing on the bad news. Yeah, it's it's in it's in. Uh, uh, it's when the narrative can be put together properly uh, in a composite sense and appreciated by uh, the general public. It is only then that the, uh, you know, the, the correct balance between criticism of a project and uh, uh, supporting of a project uh, comes about. Hmm. So air shows are one perspective, but these kind of uh, images are therefore really, really important. Now, the image itself, if you see what does it really signify, uh, people must uh, absorb that these kind of systems are uh, actually classed as systems of systems. They are, uh, they're not, uh, they're too complex to be classified just as a single uh, system. Right. Just like, uh, and, and going with that same, uh, with that same nomenclature, they are, uh, they are only as good as uh, the parts that constitute them, the systems that make it up. And by that I mean the sensors, the weapons, the uh, power plant, the uh, uh, flight controls, etc. But, one also expects that the, the overall system of systems can only be better than the individual part, can only be more than the sum of the parts right. if it is put together uh, as one concept. And that is really something which, uh, uh, you know, I hope comes off that um, uh, image. So on the one hand, uh, it's an indigenous aircraft, uh, obviously with indigenous uh, software and uh, uh, in it, a whole lot of indigenous uh, design in it. And there's an indigenous uh, uh, missile, yes. which is uh, which is going off. So clearly, uh, on the one hand, we have finished the uh, we uh, we seem to have finished the full chain uh, end to end. Uh, what is not visible, for example, is the indigenous radar inside it. Right, right. But uh, on the other hand, also it's important to understand that these systems uh, gain uh, power and gain advantage, especially if they are small, only if they are uh, completely integrated end to end and. Mm advantage is taken off the integration opportunities to enhance, uh, for example, performance. So uh, one of the things that probably is still missing is because uh, because it's been done in fragments in different silos and they come together only at the end, yeah. is, for example, the way we carry the, the weapons. So uh, you, you've seen my tweets um, over the years criticizing the, uh, you know, the number of the number of layers between the wing and the and the missile, mm, uh, mm. the pylon, the uh, adapter, the launcher, etc. And uh, clearly, there's a clash of there's a clash of uh, uh, concepts out there between the the Western uh, concept of suspension of weapons and the uh, Russian concept and the Indian concept. It's a it's a little bit of a mishmash. So uh, if we uh, if we really want to uh, create aircraft which are uh, top of the line in, in terms of uh, that full class uh, across the world, then uh, we also need to take advantage of the, uh, uh, the fact that we are investing in uh, complex things like aircraft. We yeah. are investing in complex things like uh, missiles. Now we need to step up our game and build them as uh, one system of systems, not uh, in parts, and then try and extract advantage from mm. uh, you know, uh, opportunistic uh, mating of these two. Right. So that's something which I hope, I hope that uh, uh, people still feel happy looking at that image and yet at the same time they are left wanting, wanting a little more. Definitely wanting a little more uh, because uh, uh, as you said the image signifies a great deal but the questions also must be asked. Very, very important. My final round of questions to the both of you. Uh, Comrade Muthana, we do know that the LCA Mark II is also a project 
uh, you know, we've seen uh, we've seen concept pictures of the LCA Mark II. It's going to have a it's going to have the more powerful engine. It's going to be a slightly larger aircraft. Uh, you know, there are some airframe changes to it as well. Uh, 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 that's also something that the Indian Air Force is looking forward to quite a bit. What are your thoughts on it, sir, on the LCA Mark II? Shiva, on the present configuration of the Mac, Mark II, I, I have a different opinion. Yeah. You know, prim primarily because, yes, as you say, it's a more far powerful engine, but it's also understood to be about a 17,500 kg plus mm -hmm. aircraft. So, uh, very, uh, you know, simplistically speaking, the mission performance, uh, the maneuver performance would likely to be the same as the Mark One or the Mark One A. I see. And, uh, mm -hmm. The mission performance, that is, the radius of action may increase a little because of uh, you know additional fuel, and uh, also what is being touted about is the number of missiles that it, it can carry, etc. Yes, it yes. has got some advantages, but I would have personally preferred it to be a twin-engine aircraft hmm. uh, for a, a couple of reasons. One is uh, you know I firmly believe that uh, you know there is there, there is a limited amount of uh, expertise in this country on. Uh, uh, on on these high tech aircraft, right. and I would have wanted to see the AMCA online far quicker than what is envisaged now, because stealth is something I think that is essential for future warfare. Absolutely, and and the Mark II coming in between is likely to affect that timeline. I have no doubt in my mind. Others may contend. These are very important points.